Hello, I'm Evgeny Yelisev, a teacher of Russian language from RussianOfTheRussian.com. We continue our conversation about the verb to have in Russian language, and today you will see how to express the possession of something in the past tense. Well, let's go. The general rule stays the same. To express a possession of something, we should use the preposition u with the name of the owner in the genitive case and add a form of the verb быть to be. Let's see how it works in the past tense. In the past tense, Russian verbs have gender. The verb быть to be has the following past forms. Был – it's the masculine form. Была – it's the feminine one. Было – the neuter one. Были – the plural one. For example, the noun дом, house, ends in a consonant and has the masculine gender. That's why we say у меня был дом. I had a house. The noun машина, car, ends in a and is feminine. That's why we should say у меня была машина. I had a car. The noun время, time, ends in мя and is a neuter one. So we say у меня было время. I had time. And мечты is the plural form of the noun мечта – dream. So, we should say у меня были мечты – I had dreams. If you don't know how to determine the noun gender, please watch my videos about the gender of nouns and possessive pronouns. The links are in the description. Before the words много, many, much, мало, few, little, немного, a little, немало, not a little, несколько, a few, столько, so many, so much, we use the neuter form было, regardless of the noun gender. У нас было много друзей. We had many friends. У нас было мало времени. We had little time. У нас было несколько машин. We had a few cars. The same is true for questions with the word сколько – how many, how much. Сколько у тебя было друзей? How many friends did you have? Сколько у тебя было машин? How many cars did you have? Well, that's all for now. In the next lesson, you will see how to express the possession of something in the future tense. So, stay with us. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel, leave comments and visit my website to get more information about the Russian language and private Russian Skype lessons. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, see you at the next video.